in this video I will be continuing the ordination quest in the Luminary War Dance event which is this one here and I will be going to the Shackling Prison next I got the Tusper in the last video And I really like the Tusper. Okay, <laughs> next is the Shackling Prison. First I'll clean my day stuff though. Okay, I can start it now. We're going back to the Shackling Prison. This is where all the Borison escaped from before, as well as Hule. Why is Hex and Nexus also available? I think they even promote the game in the prison, are the members of the Hex Club obsessed with it? Yeah, why do they have puzzle games in the prison? That's a bit weird. So I need to break the pots. Because <laughs> there's stuff in the pots. Yukong again. According to records from the Skyfaring Commission, the spaceship was originally registered under the Intelligentsia Guild. Now it's docked at the port, carrying 102 unidentified corpses. The only two individuals who landed from the ship and entered the Shenzhou are a Borison disguised as a Foxian and an Intelitron. So I'm asking once again, who killed them? I can only repeat my previous answer. I absolutely did not violate my vows against bloodshed. However, I cannot divulge the details of the situation. Your denial is no, of no use, because the answer speaks for itself. Madame Yukong? You two are at the right place. We are currently conducting an urgent interrogation of the suspect. Mr. Luca, please come here and leave a statement. This involves the Skyframe Commission. Hence I have been summoned from the hearing as well. However, considering the severity of the case, even the General may have to come to oversee this personally. But these two suspects, Rome refuses to cooperate with the investigation and the other refuses to even speak. Is she really a parson? Could this be a misunderstanding? 
the 102 corpses on the ship are no misunderstanding. How do you fit 102 corpses on a ship? Mr. Memphis, you said to me before the night, before the fight, that you were willing, that you were fighting for the monks and children at Claret World Temple. Were you lying to me? I'm an ordained monk from Claret World Temple. I do not speak deceitful words. Through the documents she brought on her person and the ring she bore, we've confirmed her identity as the monk Samantha from Claret Wheel Temple. Claret Wheel Temple? I've heard of this temple's name. They are a bunch of Borison, isolated from the outside world, adhering to strict commandments and forbidding killing. They've built a temple to escape from the flames of war. This sounds more beautiful than a fairy tale. Now, the fairy tale has been destroyed because of you, Samantha. The Borison can never change their bloodthirsty nature. Even if you disguise as a Foxian, you'll never become one of us. I... I only wish to plead to the Shenzhou during the war dance. To let, to let you hear the voice of Claret Wheel, Temple. If I appeared in my true form, I would not have been able to step foot on the Lofu. No matter what intentions you had coming here, you've lost your opportunity in achieving them. Daryl Temple's reputation is now tarnished by the bloodshed you've caused, and there's no room for any petition of yours. All this is ruined by your own hands. She's being quite harsh. <laughs> I... The Foxy Monk's features contort in anger. She clenches her canine teeth tightly, trying to vein the trying in vain to calm the raging anger within her. Miss Memphis is not lying, is she, Mr. Intellitron? Present situation. I adhere to the commandments and will not answer questions from anyone but Samantha. Mr. Intellitron, if you and Miss Samantha are convicted because of obeying your commandments, Cloud Wheel Temple will also be implicated. You should be adhering to the commandments for the sake of Cloutwell Temple, instead of helping to destroy the temple. The deduction is logically sound. I was the one who annihilated the 102 individuals. Please question me. I just admitted to it. <laughs> Sugata, you promised me that you will not expose yourself to danger. Do not panic, Samantha. Suggestion. I will show you all my historical memory. I hope that the Shenzhou Alliance will reconsider Claret Wheel Temple's petition after reviewing this data. Finally got them to talk. Thanks, Luca. I will not promise you anything, but you can try to trust me. Honestly, honesty is better than blind adherence to commandments. This deal was successfully concluded. Then, Let's start the confession. Suggestion. As a linguistics extension, confession is inefficient for transmission. I will synchronize my data with you all in a more optimal manner. Wavelength adjustment complete. RAM access permissions altered. Synthesia beacon synchronized. Synchronization initialized. What's it doing? This is bellbog music. Not sure how many system hours ago. What's this? This isn't even words. The time features halted for. How long have I been dormant? Order cubes. Object detected. Conforming to the definition of organic life form. Engaging annihilation mode. Annihilate, annihilate, annihilate cubes. Annihilate, 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 annihilate. The extrapolations of organic life lack logic and are riddled with fallacies. 
to correct this error, Rubit, the Emperor devised the perfect anti-organic equation, attempting to repair the loopholes in the universe's programming. The Intellitron army once ignited the cosmos, desirous, desirous of completely erasing the existence of all organic life forms. Conclusion: We failed. We must learn from cubes. We will be victorious at the end. Look, the remnants of a war machine. It's a core part of some bigger contraption. It's damaged in a state of standby. Pick up the surrounding components and put them here. And we may save them yet. Dharmic Monk Viria. Master Diana. Why are we wasting times on lifeless metal? Machines will always just be that. We'll never be able to understand each other no matter how fluently we speak our tongues. Besides, this is a machine left behind during the Emperor's War. It has committed more sins of murder than we can imagine. I do not presume to determine whether Intellitrons have emotions with my meager intellect. However, as for whether we should save him, that boils down to the compassion in our hearts. Come help me, Samantha. Yes, Master Diana. She's waking up. Order. Elite Soldier 0089. Diagnosing Corpus Status. This body is heavily damaged and cannot support the, this unit for combat. Negative. Organic life detected. Overwrite last conclusion. Order. Annexing machine units in vic vicinity. <laughs> Activating annihilation mode. I was gonna fight them. Organic life, annihilate, annihilate, annihilate. Remnants of the anti-organic equation, huh? This is the first time I've seen one, never mind, there's not that cannot be delivered with salvation. quite weak at the moment. I should definitely be able to some more. All will be swept away by the wind. <laughs> Enjoying yourself? The fearless knows not fear. No! Eternal. Sure is a strong suit of steel. You could even control the surrounding machines to attack us. Those trash heaps of metal were no match for our sharp talons in the end. Ha! Uh, how could you find joy in conflict as a Dharmic monk? Hem, your words ring true. Ah, that metalhead is awake. Question: Organic life. Why did you not destroy me? The annihilation has failed. According to logic, you'll destroy me. There's the most optimal solution. Samantha, you answer that question. 
Yes, O oh Steel Patron, the universe is fraught with wanton bloodshed, and so are our hearts. It is this impulse that drove us to ruin, devastating worlds, and forging the unbreakable cycle of war and bloodshed. And that is why we Claretwell Temple monks continue to hone our minds and spirits in order to resist its claim. For as part of past the scarlet curtain of blood and beyond slaughter that we sought and found our even greater power. A weapon of even greater power? Negative. I have not detected any other type of weaponry amongst your equipment, besides biological weaponry. This power that Samantha refers, refer, refers to isn't something that ordinary devices can an ordinary device can detect. Affirmation. Greater power can be implemented to iterate upgrades of the anti-organic equation. It can be suggested to be incorporated into database. We can learn from organic life. We, we will be victorious in the end. Question. How can one obtain this power of which you speak? This question is much too profound. Master ya Tiana can talk your ear off for decades on this subject alone. The claret wheel hangs overhead, illuminating mortal hearts. To understand this power, countless years of cultivation is required. We're in a rush to reach the Shenzhou Steel Patron. If you wish to learn more about Claret Wheel Temple, let's become travel companions, and Master Diana can preach the mantra to you along the way. Would that be appropriate, Mr. Diana? It is by fortuitous fate that we met this day. But if the steel patron wishes to travel with us, I must first adjust its nature to avoid it lashing out yet again towards incense. Conclusion. I've accepted the invitation from these Cloutwheel Temple monks to share this journey. The revered Master Diana has locked my weapon system to prevent me from unleashing violence during the trip. They originate from the Frontier Stark Quadrant, swearing to journey to the Shenzhou Lofu to petition to the Shenzhou natives for the protection of them over 10,000 monks and 13,000 civilian children. Question. I cannot understand. If they possess powers beyond slaughter, why are they unable to protect themselves in the universe and we s and still seek refuge? Interrogation. Power beyond slaughter. Does it, ex does it exist? It must. Impossible. I cannot answer. Probably. Relevant information does not exist within the database. To obtain the sli this, the answer, I can only record the monk's verbal exchanges as references to the extrapolation. What is more powerful than slaughter? Destroyed Star Cluster 51 system days before the start of the war dance. Whoa, where am I? This is Penicone again. Why am I back in Penicone? Look, look at these people. I thought I smelled our, smelled our brethren, but I saw that they voluntarily put collars around their own necks. As wolves graced by the master of immortality, they willingly ground down 
the own fangs and claws and collared themselves. Then they fled with tails tucked between their legs like dogs and expressed compassion for feeble prey. You forsook their blessings. Is that any different from serving yourself upon a platter? My brethren, please allow me to correct the mistake of yours. The Borison are, after all, a branch of human gen genus. It is a, mis a misconception of the past for us to see ourselves as wolves. For there are m many more choices open to us once we begin to see ourselves as human. You are all born of the wolf pack, akin to frogs gazing up from the bottom of the well. You only see the choice of bloodshed that towers above you at the mouth of the well. As the saying goes, a moment of, a moment of kindness broadens the horizon in an instant. Leap out of the box and you will find an endless expense of opportunities. We did not abandon the blessing, but triumphs but triumphed over it. We have risen upon, risen above the narrow crevices of conflict. I think you're more like a frog here, hag, croaking, croaking about like a witch. I hope you'll keep yammering on when I split your belly open. Master, watch out! Barson fight. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> Inevitable. Now that's better. Move. The fearless knows not fear. That won't do. Rise. All will be swept away by the wind. <laughs> Inevitable. Oh no, my Bagulune is almost dead. I think he'll be healed though. Yes, he got healed. The dead return! Forever. Triumphant! That's it! Victory is inevitable! The scattered walls flee. And the battered and bloody Dharmic monk finally topples. Master Diana, I didn't turn back into a wolf. Master Diana, first time, first time in my life, I was able to fight so calmly. The recording of Dharmic monk Furia's last words end here. This is a good burial place. Furia always loves cool, shady spots. He'll feel like he'll feel like it's back in his nest. Failure to comprehend, known, with the war dance as your podium, you intend to petition petition for Cloutwheel Temple to join the Shenju Alliance. But your commandments severely impede your objective from being fulfilled. Logic, according to extrapolation. Subjugating and eliminating the Shenju Alliance and erasing all non-agreeable individuals is the most optimal solution to achieving your goal. The commandment of do not kill severely restricts your ability to act. It is an illogical calculation and has caused, the, caused Viria to lose his organic life. When I first joined Claret Will Temple, I fought the same way too. The universe the universe forces you to use violence, time and time again. When we were protecting civilians and monks during their escape, it was kill or be killed. I broke the vow against killing more than once. I'd rather have my hands snapped apart by the commandment ring I wear, than resist the urge to rip my enemy's throat open. Question, what revised your conclusion? I took in Samantha. I saw the fear in her eyes when she witnessed my battles. I realized that each and every one of us is involved in building the world of the future. I would not bury the seeds of fear and hatred in the earth of tomorrow 
and that cement will become yet another chained cog in the cycle of war and bloodshed. More than just killing, we still have the power to make choices. The existence of Claret Wheel Temple is a prime example of this. Death is but the vanishment of the flesh, and in this war, with the universe as our opponent, as long as we still abide by the commandment of do not kill, we will never welcome the defeat of the soul. Record update. I have learned a new definition of victory. Question. Non-killing equals victory? Question. What defines the soul? She does not answer. That was interesting. Well, there's an APC person here. Rupert the Emperor has died, for the remaining of offspring of the anti-organic equation still lurks, still lurk in all corners of the universe. Against these individuals, the IPC has issued an order to all bounty hunters, eliminated them at all cost. What was Diana thinking when she pushed me away? Am I watching some low production comedy show? The bloodthirsty Burson are willingly protect Rupert's... Rupert's murderer? Murder machine at the cost of their lives? Ha ha ha. So even ruthless beasts are capable of huddling together for comfort? Come at me. I lost. You can kill me. Just like how you... Metallic maniacs killed my brothers back then. Remember this. And edge it into that metallic head of yours. That's only fit to be my chamber pot. The bounty hunters are still alive. Still alive will hunt you down to the end of the cosmos and melt down, melt you down into a pool of molten metal. Regarding Diana's death, I feel something that's infinitely close to a concept that organic life holds: rage. There was activity in the anti-organic equation, and it captured my negative feedback. Amplified it, and arrived at an inclusion. Affirmation. Even if Diana locked my weapon system, with the remaining annihilation protocols in my system, even using a simple pebble, I can easily wipe away his existence. Stop here. Anti-organic equation commandment terminated. Go. We will not do anything behind your back. Rupert's monster, and you Borison, how many worlds have been destroyed by your race? Stop pretending to be saints in front of me. You think acting this way will erase all your sins? You are all bor you are all born as bloodthirsty monsters. I've said that the bounty hunters will chase you down to the very end of the cosmos. We left without turning our heads. He chased us down, cursing our names repeatedly. Samantha said making the choice is evidence to my gro of my growth. I ran diagnostics across all programs, but was unable to find any quantifiable system upgrades. From then on, no bounty hunters appeared again. I once checked through the bounty hunter's warrants conclusion. Lead soldier 0089 status became marked as deceased. Even though the Parsons, I think they're good people, since they're not, they don't want to kill anyone. There's her feet and her tail.
tail. This is her head. This is a side piece. This should be the side piece. And that's that. There's something that halted the action of killing. It also stopped the act activation of the anti-organic equation. Power beyond slaughter does exist. A request to be ordained to further my study. Converted disciple 0089, though your karmic hindrances have not been removed, there is yet room for your redemption. The master is not with us anymore, so today, I, the Reverend Monk Samantha, shall break my bow and bequeath unto you the five clout wheel commandments, in the hope that you will sever your ties to evil. Now, recite the commandments, mantra after me. Confirmation. This unit has signed the con con consent agreement. I am born of the void, born in servitude to all beings. Thus I shall never, neither harm nor transgress. I am born of the void, born in servitude to all beings, thus I shall never harm nor transgress. I quell myself from strife, witnessing the poison of karmic consequences, thus I shall never covet or hate, nor hate. I, I quell myself from strife, witnessing the poison of karmic consequences, thus I shall never neither covet nor hate. I know the truth of suffering, of death, and of life. Thus I shall not be, indul be indulgent in my wait for Nirvana. I know the truth of suffering, of death, and of life. Thus I shall not be indulgent in my wait for Varanana. Put on the ceremonial ring. From this day forth, you have become a disciple of our Clout Wheel Temple. I bestow upon you the ordained name of Sugata. How is that little robot gonna put a ring on? <laughs> the commandments are a method of self-discipline. If even the laws within your heart cannot be bound, then the turbulent waves of the world will leave you no room to resist. If there's precedent of the commandments being broken, Countless excuses will grow along the cracks like an addictive poison. It will erode the initial boundaries till there is no turning back. Remember, breaking of the commandments will not destroy yourself, but it will pave the path of defeat when confronting the cycle of war and bloodshed. We seek not, f not the victory of the flesh, but the invincibility of the soul. Confirmation. I received your guidance with faith. Protocol complete. I will adhere to the five commandments of not evoking harm, transgression, greed, hate, or indulgence, and honor my commitment to Samantha. I will study that will temper scriptures, and I am convic convinced that by doing so, I will come into contact with the power beyond slaughter. I have absolute faith in this. Worldly matters are imper impermanent. I don't see how that robot can put the ring on. <laughs> Spaceships restricted zone. Three system days before the start of the war dance. Now we're on Herda Space Station. These two are boring. They're not even putting up any resistance. How am I gonna get hyped up now? Are they part of the Annihilation Gang? You two better not 
let my bros down. Honored patrons, we do not carry any possessions of value on us. Your attack has also destroyed the only spaceship we own. Logic. Killing us will not deliver any benefits. May you all turn back from evil before you are tainted by further sin. Sin? As if you have seen actual sin, how much does it weigh? What does it look like? Take it out and enlighten us then. Listen up, you two. The only truths in this universe are stuff like meteors that fell from the sky, the flames of the antimatter lesion, and the gun in my hand. You're not holding a gun. <laughs> He's not even holding a gun. <laughs> Note, please add the I please add the anti-organic equation to that. Sukata. Samantha's shaking her head. I've identified her facial topography. Is one of the one of pleading. She does not wish me to break my commandment for this. Do you remember our objective? One must reach the Shenzhou of the petition, but it does not have to be me. Record. After spending 0.0019 seconds of extrapolation, they've understood Samantha's plan. She wants to sacrifice herself to create an opportunity for me to escape. We are both still alive. This means... I decline to execute that specific command. Question. Samantha. Is the completion of this objective more imperative than any, than any individual entity? You promised me. You said you wouldn't, would abide by the commandments. I will not let you undo your weapons lock. She's right. I've made my vows and signed the agreement. But I can also get, also get back on it. Conclusion. Everyone has the right to make their own choices. Logic. The critical objective. Complete the petition. Secondary objective. Protect Samantha. These two objectives take priority over, over all other directives. Beginning extrapolation based on the aforementioned objectives. Conclusion. Break the commandments and delete the self. Begin running the anti-organic equation extrapolation. Target locked on. Scanning for weaponly devices. Annihilate, 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 annihilate. This is the first time that the anti-organic equations annihilation command has not provided a positive response for me. Did he kill them both? Throughout the entire process of slaughter, I felt that my system was running in the void. Just like the feel that the organic life describes as guilt. Please, don't talk about this anymore. Conclusion. I'm no longer a disciple of Cloutwell Temple, but a lowly sinner. However, there's still one last monk present. Let's complete our petition. Historical databases, historical database, recording. Historical databases, recording playback complete. Please allow me to mourn for all the monks of Cloutwell Temple, martyred on this journey. I hope to give Samantha a chance to compete once again in the war dance, to let all witness that Cloutwell Temple's Borison also possess similarly admirable qualities as the rest of humanity. The Shenzhou were just victimized by a Borison raid. I cannot restore Samantha's contestant qualifications and allow a rematch during such sensitive times. Once she gets in the ring and reveals her identity, it won't just be a circle of armed clown knights that awaits her. The audience will also become become terrified of the name of Cloutwell Temple. 
Is that truly the outcome you wish? I need not remind you, as you probably understand too, people do not simply believe that the person can dis disengage from their brutal nature just like that. I understand. I always have. But I refuse to give up. Master Diana, Dharmic Monk Firia, Zugada. They gave me everything for this journey. I want to stand on the ring and tell everyone that the monks of Clerical Temple have not caved into their nature. Logic. To be born into this hunting bit pack is to be brutal. And to be born in Clerical Temple is to be compassionate. Perspective. Nature is a pseudo proposition that contains subjective cognition bias. Question. If the Shenyu agrees to admit Claret Will Temple and provide an environment that allows the Barson to change themselves, would they still walk into the cycle of war and bloodshed? I apologize. I'm unable to give an answer to your question. The Shenyu is unwilling to believe Claret Will Temple or depriving them of a chance to speak their case. Thus, conflict will never dissipate and the cycle of war and bloodshed will be ever-present. Madam Yukong, I'm not a Clarewell Temple monk any longer. I will henceforth demonstrate my resolve to you to achieve Samantha's wishes. Once the pressure for survival exceeds a certain threshold, organic bodies may adopt incorrect strategies. They may isolate themselves, lose their voice, relinquish awareness, relinquish awareness, and even cease to think. And then, a piercing roar strikes your consciousness, carrying with it the horn of the Machine Empire, as well as the blood and fire that has flowed for over a thousand amber eras. Warning, warning, all the rheumatoids in the Shackling Prison have lost control. The control station is unresponsive. The out of control of Rumtons are tightening the encirclement, requesting reinforcements, requesting hello, hello, damnations, even the comms. Annihilate, annihilate, annihilate. Do you feel that? The intricate engineer of on the grey armor. They're frozen. Get into high alert, everyone. Repeat, high alert. Intelligent. What do you tend to do? In an era forgotten by history and drowned in time, the empire that the anti-organic equation ushered in once ushered in once extended across more than half of the universe. As an elite soldier of the Rupert Empire, I'm an extension of the Emperor's will. This power is sufficient to corrupt and control all machines in the area, commanding them to grind all organic life to a fine dust. But what I wish to demonstrate is not the intent to slaughter, because beyond that, I've always found an even greater power. There will always be a choice, and I will always make the better choice. In deadly battle, we raise the beacon's blaze under comma under command, we hold the golden bindings embrace. In life, I have claimed and taken other lives, wandering through karma's web, for sin to turn into fortune. Was the nature of oneself? All karma traces back to one's decision and will. For all things are born with emptiness and neutral void. Do not call any being born filthy or tainted. In a high-pitched screech of overload, all mechanical creations are freed from the control of the anti-organic equation's curse. Elite Soldier 0089, Sugata has blown their own circuits and fallen silent once more. Sugata? Madam Yukong, I'm not a Shenzhou native, I don't know what's happened here in the past. 
so I cannot point fingers at your decision. But as a contender, I cannot accept a victory that is not entered in battle, that was not earned in battle. Just like Mr. Sugata said, even if the petition is ultimately rejected, they should not be denied the right to express themselves. Sugara has already made his voice heard by all of us. However, I still wish to see the resolve of another person. As long as the petition is complete, I will offer everything I have. Samantha, I'll arrange your rematch with Luca in the Skyspace Lower Floor Arena. It will be different from what you hoped. There will be no bustling cheers of spectators. Nor will there be raucous applause. No one on the Shenju or Fu will know the outcome of this match. If you can take victory, the Shenju or Fu will reconsider Clout Will Temple's petition. I thank you, Madam Yu Kong. You can start your match when you're ready. Okay, I will do that in the next episode. Thanks for watching the video. It's been an interesting quest. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.